Hello, hello, family. Wherever you're located on this planet, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel, A Blender. This is part two of my continuation of a how to make streets for your particle generated city. It's been 24 hours and I discovered a flaw that I was talking about yesterday when I did this. If you, if you, wa if you watch my earlier videos, some of the particles was touching the street due to you know the blue, yellow, and green lines. Cause remember, I said I don't know how to make the red uh white paint line permanently red. It seemed like no matter what I did, it still has that residual residual effect of having that yellow and green and blue line so I couldn't work uh, work around that and because I could not work around it when I generated my streets with the cities in it many of the cities was on the street because remember when I used a particle I went to density I had it the density made it so no particles was on the, the red area they stayed off the red area but buildings was on that yellow and green area which was right beside the red area so some of the particles was in the street i discovered how after a day of thinking of how to keep them from touching the streets and this how you see up here where my mouse is at where it say radius 25 what you have to do is make your radius large and then you put your street on the radius and try to center your street right like right in the middle of that red line I'm gonna give a demonstration here's street number one you see my street number one on both sides you know I eyeball it of course I had to eyeball it but on both sides it look like it's a equal amount of red so it's basically you know theoretically in the center that's what you have to do try to put it in the center and you see why the street is in the center is in the red part it's far away from the yellow it's far away from the green and the blue so now hopefully very few of the cities will touch the street let me activate my other streets that's street number one Here's street number two. You see, once more, I had, now you see, unfortunately, when I did the weight paint and with the line, the line is not concentric. So you see, uh, to my far left, it's far, it's fatter than the area to the far right. But hey, that's a demonstration. You know, if you was making a city, you would like control Z and go back and try to make it everything the same dimension. But you see, I tried to, place my street in the city it's a little bit off i could eyeball a little bit more but i leave it like it is and my third street the um the horizontal one you see i try to eyeball it again you can see in some spots it's definitely an appreciable distance away from uh you know the, the yellow and the green so now we're gonna see now you see yesterday i went in depth at making my city <coughs> since i made a quick demonstration i knew what the the idea came to me i, I wanted to hurry up and make the video so i know i'm just using two red blocks one greenish one reddish those represent my cities but the concept is the concept is all day away from the street that's the basic concept so let me click on, let me go back to um, object mode. I could have stayed in uh, weight paint mode. Let me go back to weight paint because my uh, my street on my plane, that's, that's the thing that's highlighted. Let me go to emissions. Let me crank it up to 2000, a big number. Because yesterday <coughs> I said when I was having a difficulty with this building for the street, I made it a low count like 250, 300. But now I'm going to take it up to 2000. And look at that look at that for my little demonstration of my buildings very nearly no building is touching 
my street. And if they are, they right on a street. But it's Zoom, so you can go back and adjust your radius. And let's make it a little bit bigger. You can go right over that same line and say, let me make my radius bigger. And then you just put the street right there, and it'd be wonderful. But we see it does work. It's working. It looks like a functional city. Nothing, for the most part, is overlapping with the street. Nothing is in the street. So that's how you do it before I go, good people. So when you make your city of particles, remember, we got to go to, uh, let me summarize it. I'm clicking this. Remember? Well, you're going to get part one of my video, and then let's tell you how I set it up. The, my episode for the day was to show you that, hey, it is possible to use particles to make a street and not have the building touching that street. And see, this is a lot smaller, 500. Yesterday, I could not get to no large number. You see, today, I can make it large all because I made that radius a little bit bigger and my streets are smallest are smaller than that radius so thank you for stopping by good people I hope now you all can make some fantastic uh, city scenes of people dogs whatever walk around I know I will now I know I'm gonna be making some scenes in the city people walking around until the next time bring the family bloody family peace